Stop scrolling because we just got massive quantum computing news. According to the Wall Street Journal, the Trump administration is reportedly in talks to take equity stakes in American quantum computing companies in exchange for federal funding. Yes, you heard that right. The US government could soon own pieces of IonQ, Rigetti, and D-Wave, three of the biggest names in quantum computing. Full disclosure, I do own positions in all three and Quantum Computing Inc. I'm gonna be dropping a long form YouTube video breaking down everything you need to know about quantum computing, from how it works to which companies are leading the space and the different tech approaches they're all taking. Head to my YouTube channel so you don't miss it or just comment the word quantum below and I'll personally drop the link for you in the comments. Other players like Quantum Computing Inc. and Atom Computing are said to be considering similar arrangements. If that sounds unusual, it's because it is. Historically, Washington hasn't taken ownership in private companies unless there's a major crisis. Under Trump's second term, that's changing fast. The administration already took a 15% stake in MP Materials, a US rare earths producer, and around 10% of Intel, the only American firm making advanced AI chips on US soil. And now they're eyeing Quantum. Each of these quantum firms could receive at least $10 million in funding with the Commerce Department holding equity positions in return. This marks a major ideological shift from free market capitalism to strategic capitalism where the government invests directly in industries critical to national security. And make no mistake, quantum computing is that next frontier. We're talking about machines that use the laws of quantum mechanics to solve problems classical computers can't even begin to touch. In the right hands, it could revolutionize medicine, material science, and finance. In the wrong hands, it could break modern encryption. That's why this move isn't just about investing. It's about control, security, and the future balance of power and technology. Remember, the US made similar moves when China restricted rare earth exports threatening America's tech supply chain. That led to the government funding MP materials. Now with quantum computing poised to define the next decade, Washington clearly doesn't want to fall behind. Treasury Secretary Scott Benson said last week we have to be careful not to overreach. Trump and Commerce Secretary Howard Lutnick believe that when taxpayer money fuels innovation, taxpayers should share in on the upside. That means we're entering a new era where the government becomes a stakeholder in technologies that define the future. So whether you're bullish on eye on Q or just watching the quantum space, this story signals one thing. Quantum computing is no longer science fiction. It's becoming a national asset. Hit like and follow if you found this video helpful to get daily financial content just like this. This is not financial advice. Always do your own research before investing.